Hi guys, so today we are going to be talking about free body diagrams and how to draw them. If you're unfamiliar with different types of forces, then do not watch. But this is a AP Physics 1 course, so today um, for Unit 3 we're only going to be focusing on your weight forces, your normal forces, and your tension forces. You can pause here if you want a refresher, but basically your weight force is the force of gravity. Your normal force is when two objects are touching and um, your force is being exerted perpendicularly between objects or the surface and then your tension force is caused by strings or rope. When you write your subtitles, you write the type of force in the big one as W and or T as weight, normal, or tension. Then you write the object on which the force is being exerted and then the object exerting the force in the second box. So for my typical steps that I like to follow when making a free body diagram, I determine the types of force acting upon the object. I draw arrows on the box that I created for my object for each force directed in the way that the force acts. I label the arrows and then I size the arrows according to its opposite force. Something to note is that when object is at a rest, the forces will balance. That's just the key idea that I want you to remember. Okay, so let's start with an example here. That's the easiest way to go about it. A book is at rest on a table. If we draw that here, we have like our book. I'm gonna say the book with the really bad drawing. <laughs> book, and it rests on your table so we're going to first start by following the steps and consider what forces are acting upon the object well if there was no gravity which is going to be present in every single free body diagram that you draw because without gravity the book would be floating off of the table and so would the table so obviously you're going to have a weight force um of gravity then you're going to make sure to see like obviously there's a perpendicular force between the table and the book because they're touching the weight force goes down on the table and the perpendicular force goes up from the table to the book it's kind of confusing in my opinion but you kind of just need to remember that when two objects are touching the one opposite the weight goes up so the table exerts a normal force okay and then that's basically it because the object doesn't move side to side it just stays in one position and it doesn't move so it's at rest the forces must be equal on both sides and there's nothing pushing it forward or back so there's no side arrows so the force is present the force keeping the book on the table is your wbe which stands for the weight force um from the uh earth or gravity exerted on your book and then the force perpendicular to the book is your normal force of your table exerting force on the book and then this is our free body diagram we have your book um as shown by the b here and then you have your normal force, which is from the table, pushing up, which is why the arrow points up. And then we labeled it as NBT. And then the weight force going down, um, which is gravity pushing the book down, is described as WBE. Let's move on. A book attached to a string hanging from a ceiling. So your force is present. Let's just draw this real quick. This is your book, and that's your string. So the first force that we have is obviously gravity that's present in everything so you have your weight weight force of your earth on the book um so you can write it as wbe if you want then this one's a little different obviously we don't have two surfaces touching so there's no normal force or perpendicular force but we have a string and that string causes tension between the book so or the string puts tension on the book so basically we're going to have a tension force and the string is pulling the book up it's holding the book up so your arrow is going to go up 
and the weight one, the gravity goes down, so your gravity area is going to go down. We have tension force of the rope exerting, exerting force on the book. So we have a um, T, and then we have a um, your book from the string. All right, so let's click that. So we have the gravity pulls the book down, WBF, and then your tension force from the string holding the book up is your TBS. Let's look at our free body diagram. We drew the book, and then we drew the tension arrow growing, going up, and then we drew our weight arrow growing down. Okay, next example, a person pushes a book across the floor at a constant speed. So we have your person here, and then it's pushing this book <laughs> pretend this is the floor the feet should be here um across the floor if we look at it obviously the book is on the ground so there's still going to be your gravity force then the person can be represented as an object and that's a perpendicular force because it's between two objects your person and your book so you have a normal force acting in the right direction. I forgot to say the person is pushing the book that way. So you have your normal force in this direction from the person to the book. Okay. And then you have your other normal force, which is your perpendicular force of your floor. Sorry, this one would be an up arrow because it's the floor pushing on the book. So your gravity is keeping the book on the floor, your normal force is pushing of the floor is pushing on the book, and then your normal force of the person is pushing the book. So if we draw the arrows here, we have your normal force of the floor going up to the book, then you have your weight force pushing down on the book so that gravity can hold it down. Then you have your normal force of the book being pushed by the person going to the right, because the book's going to the right. And then this is the last example. This one is a little bit more complicated. You have Taddy, which is a boy. And he's pulling a rope attached to the box in the floor at an angle. You have to remember that it's whatever object is directly on the, ne on the next. So let's say we have your book or your box here. You're going to have the rope at an angle. And this is Taddy right here. So he's holding the book or the box and he's pulling it. So we have to remember that the rope is what's pulling at the box, not the person, if that makes any sense. So the forces present are on your box are the gravity pushing the box down. You have your tension force at an angle pulling the book up and to the right. So your force angle is your tension from the rope to the box and then finally you have your normal force of the ground pushing on the box okay so let's undo that so um you have your gravity normal force to the ground and then you have from ground to box and then you have the tension force from rope to box it's not going to be your person to the box because the rope is what's pulling at the box it's whatever object is directly next to it in our free body diagram we have nbf which is the normal force pushing the from the floor pushing up on the box then you have your at an angle tension force um from your box or from your rope to the box and then you have your weight force pushing down on the box from the earth and that is it for our lesson today hope you guys enjoyed